The heart channel is a yin yang pair channel of the small intestine channel. It's also the hand channel of Xiao Yin. Let's start with the primary channel. The heart primary channel originates in the heart, emerging from the blood vessel system surrounding the heart. It descends through the diaphragm, then connects with the small intestine. There is a branch from the heart that goes up along the esophagus, crosses the face, and connects with the tissues around the eye. There is another branch from the heart that goes to the lungs and emerges at heart 1. The heart channel traverses the medial aspect of the upper arm, crossing heart 3 at the elbow. It goes down along the anterior medial aspect of the lower arm, crossing heart 7 at the wrist. It continues its path, crossing the palm, and ends at heart 9 at the radial side of the little finger. The heart low connecting channel comes out at heart 5 and connects with the small intestine channel. It enters the heart and connects with the root of the tongue and the eye. The heart divergent channel separates from the heart primary channel at the axillary fossa. It enters the chest and connects with the heart. Then it goes up to the throat and emerges on the face, connecting with the small intestine channel at the inner canthus. The heart sinew channel originates at the radial aspect of the little finger. It goes proximal to bind at the pisiform bone at the wrist. It goes along the medial aspect of the arm and binds at the elbow. It continues proximally and binds at the axilla. Then it intersects the long sinew channel and crosses the breast region to the center of the chest. It descends across the diaphragm and ends at the umbilicus. Here are the key points. The primary channel originates in the heart, emerging from the blood vessels surrounding the heart. The primary channel connects with the tissue surrounding the eye. The lower connecting channel connects with the eye. And the divergent channel connects with the small intestine channel at the inner canthus. The primary channel ascends along the esophagus and the divergent channel ascends along the throat. The lower connecting channel connects with the root of the tongue. The divergent channel intersects with the long sinew channel and ends at the umbilicus. The primary channel connects with the small intestine and the lungs. The low connecting and divergent channels connect with the heart. Now let's look at what kind of signs and symptoms manifest when there is a problem with the heart primary channel. Dry throat, thirst, chest pain, eye pain, pain on the inner side of the arm. The heart low connecting channel has excess and deficiency syndrome. For excess, there is distension and fullness of the chest and diaphragm. For deficiency, there is aphasia. Signs and symptoms of the heart sinew channel are internal tension, accumulation below the heart, and pain, stiffness, and sprain of the muscle along the course of the channel. Now let's go over some major acupuncture points on this channel. Heart 3 can clear heat and transform phlegm. Due to these actions, this point can drain heat from the head, treating signs and symptoms such as red eyes, toothache, headache, and dizziness. It can also treat disorders related to phlegm, such as mania, epilepsy, and poor memory. As most of the points of the heart channel can calm spirit, heart 5 can treat psycho-emotional disorders. It is classically indicated for a wide range of emotional manifestations such as fright, agitation, fear, vexation, anger, sadness, and depression. And if there is concurrent palpitations or irregular heart rhythm, heart 5 can be used because it can regulate the heart chi as well. Heart 5 is the major point for the loss of voice and the stiffness of the tongue due to wind stroke as well as headache, dizziness, and red eyes. One thing that is interesting about this point is it's also indicated for gynecological disorders such as menorrhagia caused by heat in the blood. Heart 6 is the major point for the night sweating. 
Sweat is a yin fluid of the heart. This point can also treat steaming bone disorder due to yin deficiency. Heart 7 is an important point of the heart channel in calming and regulating the mind. This point has a variety of indications related with disorders of the mind, such as insomnia, frequent talking during sleep, poor memory, and so on. And this point is indicated for any type of palpitations. Also, heart 7 clears heat from the channel, treating swelling, dryness, and pain of the throat. Heart 8 also clears heat, but it clears the heat of the small intestine and bladder channel in the lower burner, treating urogenital disorders such as itching or pain of the genitals, difficult urination, and prolapse of the uterus. Heart 8 is also indicated for emotional disorders due to heart chi deficiency, which manifest signs and symptoms such as palpitation, sadness and worry, excessive fear, and excessive sigh. Heart 9 clears heat in the upper burner, such as swelling, dryness, and pain of the tongue, throat, or eyes. Also, it can revive consciousness. If you want to learn more about acupuncture prescriptions according to patterns, please check our blog. The link is in the description. In the next video, we will learn about the small intestine channel of hand tie-yang.